So I am with the lovely Jack Williams from Wild Front. He is on the phone with me. Hi, Jack. How are you? Hello. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. How's it going? Yeah, really well. So firstly, I'm going to kick off with the fact that you played at the Student Radio Awards this year. How the hell was that? It looks like so much fun up on that stage. Yeah, yeah, it was sick. It was so good. Um, that was with Tom Brennan, who's an absolute boss. It was like quite a big venue as well. Were you there? I was there. I mean, I remember bits of it, if I'm honest, but I was there. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a good night, wasn't it? I mean, just to play in a venue that kind of size as well was fun. The sound was amazing. And everyone was just having such a laugh. Like, it was just so funny the whole evening. And afterwards, we all, like, went out and sat on one of the tables and just free booze. Every great. student loves a free booze. Um, <laughs> okay, so tell me who are Wildfront for people out there who don't know you. How did you become the band? Who's in the band? Give me a little bit of a backstory. Yeah, so we, we've probably been going, like playing music together as a four for about six or seven years now, actually. Um, but it used to be uh, like a really acoustic, foggy project that was under my name. And then it kind of just started morphing into a more dreamy, ambient, rocky project, I suppose, like what it is now. Um, but we, Joe and Josh, who's the guitarist and the drummer, they grew up together. They were like born in the same hospital, like a couple of weeks apart. They just always known each other since they were kids and then we all the rest of us all kind of came together in college um and we just kind of clicked you know stuck together and i think for having played together so many years it, i can't really imagine i don't think any of us can imagine being in a you know being in anything else oh that's so nice i love the fact that like yeah. you're born in the same hospital you can't get more fateful than that can you yeah i know <laughs> it's kind of like true childhood mates Oh, brilliant. Well, as this is the student radio chart show, I'm interested. Did any of you guys go to uni? Uh, yeah, two of us. So Josh Drummer went to uni in Cardiff, and then I went down to um, BIM in Brighton. Did a, did a couple of years there, um, which was amazing. BIM is so good for just kind of getting you a, getting you a foot in the, in the door, really, with performing and just being in a band, I suppose. So what did you study uh, at BIM? Was it songwriting or...? I started on started on songwriting, yeah, and then a couple couple months in decided that that wasn't that wasn't for me. I mean I am like I suppose the primary songwriter in the band. I do consider myself a songwriter, but the course I wasn't really geared for me, so I'm after a couple months moved on to the guitar course. Um did did a couple of years and then ended up <laughs> ended up dropping out anyway just because I, I suppose stuff with stuff with Wildfront, but I'm sure I'll uh, go back and finish it at some point. Wicked. Okay, so I've got this question for you. I tend to ask this to a lot of guests, actually, that like I get on my own show on Smoke, is that what is your, like, go-to student dinner? We've all got, like, you know, last-minute microwave meal that we knock mm. up or whatever. Like, have you got any little little tips or sort of dinners that you would you would whack on before a gig in a panic? Well, I, I don't know if I say I have any tips, but, but I mean, beans on toast is my hard go-to. And also, this is a bit weird, um, but I actually really like putting marmite on the toast toast has to be quite well done marmite on the toast beans on top cheese that, that see, i'm it. not a marmite fan but i can get behind that i can see how it works i'm a little bit like that with weird, worcester but... sauce like that's yeah. my little my little my little student zing to to a bog standard yeah, yeah, meal. I'm, I'm well into worcester sauce <laughs> worcester sauce crisps are very underrated oh hell yeah i'm so with you on that one so what are, who are your influences? Who are Wild Front's inspirations? I think it's a bit of a mix. We're, we're all quite influenced by different people and then there's, it all kind of falls into a big melting pot. I grew up, like I said, I was kind of used to be a bit of a folk artist. So I grew up a lot on Joni Mitchell, Neil Young, Nick Drake, you know, like a lot of those old school kind of folky songwriters. And I think it does seep into our sound in terms of the the lyrics and the songwriting, I, you know, I think that a lot of that comes from there. But then we're also really into a lot of old school 80s stuff, like a lot of Trevor Horn's production, you know, like Genesis, Tears for Fears, a lot of old school stuff. And then I suppose it's like modern stuff too, but I think our, our pillars are old school songwriting and kind of 80s pop and 70s classic rock, you know, Zeppelin, that kind of stuff. And as we are counting down the biggest tracks in student radio to find out this week's number one, I want to know, in yeah. your opinion, what is like the number one song for you of all time of all time of all time if there's a song that goes into your head you're like oh if i had like an ultimate playlist this would be top of yeah. it my favorite song ever is the same as josh in our band as well we just it's not like an anthem as such but it's restacks by bonnie Vare. Oh, okay yeah i know the one yeah bit bit controversial i suppose but it's just for me just how stripped back mm. and perfect and delicate it is it just is everything a song should be at its roots for me 
Um, I just adore it, like lyrically, poetically, everything. I just think it's on the money. Well, I think it's a great choice. And finally, what is next for Wildfront? What can we see you guys getting up to next year? We're doing a lot of writing over these next couple months, and then come next year, we're going to be dropping an EP around. We're thinking maybe March, April sort of time, but there's definitely an EP to come and we're looking at recording it through, through January. After that, I guess we're just excited for festivals really. Festival season is like our favourite time. We just love that so much. So stoked to that too. Well, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time, Jack. It's been a pleasure. No, of course. Thank you so much for, for taking the time as well.